Now I've got something today could seriously solve some problems. It's this promise of one single physical digital card to replace all your cards. I might have in front of me the actual solution to the problem. All right, take a look in your pocket right now. How many cards are you carrying around? And I'm not just talking about credit cards, debit cards. I'm also talking about membership cards. This box in front of me houses the future. BPay, brilliant card. Look at that. It's even cool looking. The Fuse card. Look at how slender that thing is. It is. It's the thickness of a regular card. First thing you noticed was this screen on here. I mean, your card with the screen, how cool is that? Kaboom. All my cards are gonna be in there and I can cycle through them. This is exciting. A traditional mag stripe, so if you're not using the chip and pin scenario, you're just swiping. All right, who wants to carry all these around? We asked Tom earlier, I'm like, Tom, what do you got? You got some gift cards. It's a George Costanza situation. Money. <laughs> this will plug into the headphone jack and allow you to take a card like this or a credit card otherwise and slide it through there and kaboom. Wirelessly transfer the information of your current card to the fuse card. This is the charger. Micro USB on this end will slide in like that and it'll charge up rapidly and give you 30 days. The idea of having 30 days and it all happening rapidly with this little slender thing, not such a big deal to me currently. That said, I probably would still bring one backup card, I don't know, in the event of some sort of malfunction. Okay, so the app you want is up here. It's called the eCard Manager. Ryan, te Ryan texting me. Unbelievable, unprofessional, as you would hope. There's a verification process here. Press power and multi button at the same time. Kaboom, register card, okay? I got the pairing request for the Bluetooth. It'll generate a pin code. There's a request to pair. Here's where I'll put the code in. We recommend to set up a tap code for e-card security. Create a series of six tap codes by pressing on three buttons randomly. If you're worried about somebody getting their hands on your card, this tap code pretty much alleviates that. So now this is the main interface and you can see here, I can set up a payment card or a membership card. So it can take a barcode, a magnetic swipe, or a direct input. This will actually work through the iPhone's adapter. Okay, so they want the fat side down, the thin side of the reader at the top part where the screen is. Okay, I think I got that. I don't think this is a payment card. I think this is a membership card. I'm gonna call this card popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn's in there. <laughs> and let's see, it has the number there which matches. What if I go to barcode like this? It brings up, let's see if it grabs it. Oh, it does right away. So then I can just call this movies. And now we have movies and popcorn in there. Let's try and do the direct input for that one. So the card number is here. I assume that's the card number. Let's try this. Starbucks. Boom. The Starbucks card is represented by the barcode. This is like when you use the app at Starbucks, the loyalty app. Now they could just do that with the card. Now this process will be identical for credit cards. Tap the payment card option here plus, and it's the exact same process here. This bar on the front here, when you're scanning a card, it's kind of like when you're programming a fingerprint into a fingerprint sensor, it's like tap it a few times. This bar kind of goes across. So I was wondering why I was having to swipe it. I guess it's so that it gets an exact reading of the mag strip on your card. As you can see here, I can toggle through the membership section between movies, Starbucks, popcorn, and so on. And then if I hit the multi button, it'll switch over to my payment cards. I have a single one Amex right now. So level one security is to just use it as you would a normal card. Level two security is that it has to be connected to the phone. And then level three security is a lost card detection and alert. If the Bluetooth identifies that the card is not in the range of the phone, you're gonna get an identification. You can't lose your wallet like that. All all right, so there you have it. Possibly the future of payments, one card to replace all of your cards. It's pretty amazing. This little scanner to insert cards into the Fuse card. This tiny little charger, which you will likely only use once per month. I know a lot of you out there, you're gonna be like, hey man, but what if there's a malfunction or I'm traveling or something like this or it just dies completely? Well, what I would do, what I will do is carry one payment card alongside that one, which will replace the other five, let's say, or six. The membership card thing is very cool as well on its own because all those programs, you sign up for them, 
It all sounds so great, but you never carry all those cards with you unless you got this giant cinder block in your pocket and no one wants to do that. So maybe all of a sudden now you're earning points on everything. You're scanning here, the gas station, the drugstore, you got them all firing on full tilt because of the fuse card. That's kind of cool. So keep in mind, this is early right now. It just went into power saving. That's cool. Battery life, my name, look at that. Who doesn't want a screen on their card? This is the most high-tech card out there. You're into tech. This is probably the future.